Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So last week or a couple of weeks ago we did this video. Question, could Sully have made it to the airport in military jet? So what we were looking at here is the Miracle of the Hudson. A Airbus A320 obviously had a double bird strike and he put it in the Hudson. And the controversy was is that the expert says that he could have got back to Teterboro or he could have got back to LaGuardia. So what we did is we plotted it all out in DCS with all the correct angles and measurements and altitudes and wind and everything like that. And so could we repeat the experiment, the claims of getting to Teterboro, the Hudson and LaGuardia with military aircraft because that's what we've got in DCS. The L-39 we tried and the F-14. And the reason we tried, tried the L-39 and the F-14 is because they have, in certain configs that we had, they had the similar stall characteristics or stall speed as the A320. That was my logic in thinking about it. Now, at the time, that seemed perfectly logical. And what we found was that these planes had nothing like the characteristics of an A380, even though they had similar stall speeds. And so you guys did lots of helpful comments, as you always do, 87 of them, and said that I was thinking about it wrong. We shouldn't be thinking about stall speed. Stall speed is irrelevant. What we should be thinking about is glide ratio. Glide Glide ratio is something myself and RC have never heard of, but it's a very interesting concept. A glide ratio is very simple. If a glide ratio is one to one of an aircraft, then it can travel laterally one foot for every one foot that it drops vertically. If it's 10 to one, then it can move 10 feet laterally for every one foot that it drops vertically. The glide ratio is basically a function of the lift to drag ratio. Now, the problem with that is, as a concept, is that the lift and the drag of the aircraft constantly change with different parameters, different variables, like your current speed, your current angle of attack, your current actual positions of your various control surfaces, your current weight, current wind conditions, and so on. So an aircraft never really has a true glide ratio per se. But what we can do is take instances and work with that data. So what we can say is that an A320, I'll just pick this one because that's what Sully was driving, I don't even know if it was a 200, but just for instance, has a glide ratio at a certain speed and certain parameters of 16.3 to 1. Source is Google. Now we can't go and try the A320 because we don't have it. What we can go and try for mm, just a bit of interest, if anything else, we're not going to prove anything scientifically, it's just interest. We found the F16C at 200 knots should have a glide ratio of 7.8 to one. So if we're 200 knots, if there's no wind and we're at a set weight, then we should travel 7.8 feet for every one foot. The source is the flight manual, the real flight manual of the F-16 CD page that. And the L-39 at 160 knots should have a glide ratio of 10 to 1 as per flight manual page 278. So this gives us our speed, which is fine. What we don't have is the weight. So weight is a variable that we're going to have to mess around with in our test. So what we'll go and do is we'll go and test the L39. We'll have one L39 set at a certain fuel level and one set at another fuel level. And we'll go and do the dive from exactly 10,000 ASL. And we'll land at exactly zero ASL or just a couple of feet above that. And we'll calculate what the actual glide ratio was at that 160 CAS or 160 IAS maybe in DCS. And see how close it is to 10 to one and if it's different for any reason then we can discuss why we think it's different f16 we're going to do exactly the same thing we'll probably have one with no fuel one with full fuel or whatever and we'll go and test from 10,000 feet and see if we can get 7.8 to one test number yep. one we've got two times l39 well technically l39 z a but you know it's near enough i've got zero percent gas he's got 50 percent gas we're both going to stall our engines on purpose as soon as we start as per the documentation we are going to try and attain 160 knots 300 kilometers per hour all the way and we can see what our glide ratio is and we can see the difference as well how well dcs models the l39 glide ratio with and without fuel three two one go caps engine off engines off so what? And I, so we need to head up, yeah, because we need to slow yep. down. Got to slow down. Now I suspect that you're going to drop, go faster. Actually, no, we're going to go at the same speed. God, this is confusing. It's, we're going to have a different glide profile, one way or another, because you're heavier than me. You're a few tons heavier than me, right? Because yeah, I'm hit 160. Okay. Now for some reason you're getting away from me, and I think it's something to do with the fact that you're heavier. But I'm not smart enough to really understand why. Yeah, you're really you're really chuffing along now. Okay, I'm at 160. Even though I'm lighter than you, I'm going to have to dive steeper than you, which is a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I'm coming back. I'm coming back at you, RC. Oh, isn't it funny being this I'm... being nice and quiet, isn't it? Isn't it nice yeah. And quiet, RC? <laughs> That's nice. It's not like we usually do. 
crashing? Well, obviously. We will, we, I can guarantee we will be crashing, RC. That's something I can yeah. guarantee we will be doing. Now, you're still getting further ahead of me. It does. It is annoying me a bit. I'm right dead on 160 right yeah, now. Yeah, but if I try and catch you up by putting my nose down, I'm going to go lower than you. So DCS almost has this the wrong way around. Well, yeah, well, DCS has the more fuel you've got, the longer the glide can go. I'm 6.1 AOA. Or maybe you're just doing a lot better than me. Uh, however, you're <laughs> supposed to do this. I don't really, you know, I don't really know is the answer. But I am struggling. I may have to do my own flight here, RC, and just um, detach from you, I think. Okay. I'm at 7,500 now. You've got to make sure you're over the sand as well, not over the ocean, because you've got to land this thing, remember, RC? So don't you. Yeah, I'm you've heading. Been, you've been splaying off to the left since you started. I know. Shit. This is going to screw up your measurement, though, right? Well, just. Well, it's your own fault, RC. I'm. Uh, I'm going to find some more damage to the right. Okay. Let me just turn really slowly. It shouldn't make a great deal of difference. Alright. I think I'm coming back at you. This is the most boring race in history, but it is <laughs> quite cool. I'm turning into the land a little bit. Okay. Does trim work? Yes, uh, it does. does it? Yeah, we've got a little fan thing underneath, remember? Oh, that's right. Generating our beautiful. So it's, so it's parasitic energy loss, but it means we can fly the plane. Okay, I'm going to have to dive a bit to get my 160. I've got to nose up to get slow down a little mm -hmm. bit. <laughs> okay. I reckon we're going to clear all these little islands and everything. We're going so far. Okay, we're well, halfway through the descent. These things really glide, RC. They really glide. I feel like we're going to go around a world like this. Yeah, I'm at uh, 4,900. That's my VSI, let's see. It's almost unbelievably how good these things fall. About 500 feet per minute right now, I think. Where's the VSI on this thing? There it is. I'm at 1,000 feet per minute. Oh, well, I don't actually know the measurement on this. I don't know what the measurement is. You're definitely getting away from me. That's one thing. I'm still at 160, now at 2,000 feet per minute. One thing I'll tell you, the F-16 is not going to glide like this. No. So the question to the valued viewers at home is, why does the one with fuel glide better? That's just DCS being wrong, right? It's got to be, because more... Everything says the heavier you are, the less far you should glide. You've got more drag because you're going to have to present more alpha for the same speed. So that's disappointing, if I'm going to be honest. Just check your fuel gauge on the right, if it's assume it's turned on. Confirm what your fuel gauge reads. Five... Is yeah, that 500? Yeah, yeah, Five thousand. You're at half fuel and I'm definitely at zero fuel, so... No, 500, I guess, right? Pretty sure yeah. something's wrong. You know what? We're going to clear the entire land and just go into that massive ocean. <laughs> so we've only got 2,000 to go, RC, so... Oh, God, don't hit. We'll just... If, if we come down in that ocean, we'll just flare to the next island. I'm going to come down naturally right in that water. That is incredibly... Yeah, I think so. I'm actually going to get a little bit of speed up now because I know exactly what's coming. Right in the Hudson. Right in the Hudson. That's like terminology for punching someone in the knackers or something. <laughs> right, I'm up to 170 knots. I just need an extra bit of push to just span this little bit here. I'm not going to make it across the water. I reckon you are. I'm not. I'm way below you. You think you're in trouble? No, I don't think so. See. My natural conservative nature is saying, save up energy Maybe. now. Save up, save up kinetic energy now. Oh, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. We're going in the drink, I'll see. I think so. Oh my god. Like you stay alive as long as possible. I will find you. Yep. There's a little thing we might be able to stick on here, look. I'm gonna go past it. Oh, stall warning. Oh, oh shit. Right, if I find out where we are and make a mental note of us real fucking quick. Okay, I see the mental note of where we were. 
Wait a minute. Come on. Come on. Come on, RC. Come on, RC. I think I'm going to make it to the land. Come on, RC. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm over land. I'm down. Boo. Oh, that sucks. Rotten eggs. That physics is bollocks. Down. I, I, I challenge ED to argue why something weighing... <laughs> That much more can glide further. That just can't be right. Right, I'm going to see where you are. Stay there. I can't believe I made it on the land. Okay, I know we went a tiny bit wiggly, but, you know, it's near enough. Oh, my body's still there. That's all right. It thinks I'm still alive. So, uh, we want to take an average uh, between us. We did basically about the same. 6,070 feet times 21.49 nautical miles. Is that many feet divided by 10,000 feet? So, in... DCS, we actually did, and this is with half fuel and no fuel, glide ratio of 13.06, whereas it should have been 10 to 1 with no wind, ISA conditions. It flies a lot further than it actually should. What we'll do next is we're going to do the F-16. Okay, this time yep. I'm in an F-16. These are not going to glide quite as well. We've quoted from the official manual of 7.8 to 1 glide ratio i've got zero fuel on board um and he has got 100 percent internal fuel three two one go fuel switch up fuel off wait for the epu to kick in engine offline epu back on right we've got to go 200 knots as per the manual where have you gone oh there you are i see you right let's see how this works i see roger i Got a little bit of a boost for some reason, I don't know why, but let's just roll with it. I slowed down a little bit. Roger. Right, I'm at 200, it's going to be about 7 degrees dive by the looks of it, maybe 6. Well, one thing I can say, we're not going as far as those other boys, which went all the way over there. No. So, that's a thing. Oh, Jesus, where have you gone? I'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, you drop it I'm like a I'm below you now. So, the yeah. physics works for full fuel, but it just didn't work in the L39 for half fuel. Really weird. Confirm you're going 200? Yep. Yep, I'm bang on 200, I'll see. Okay. Uh, be interesting to see the drop rate. Um, we've got VSI in here. Uh, yeah. It's, there it is. Uh, uh, so it was 2,000 in the other one, wasn't it? Or, or Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, and this is about 2,650 feet per whatever minute or whatever that is. Yeah. Never figured that out. Should be FPM. Right, looking at you. Yeah, you're dropping like a biatch, I see. Weird. Weird results. Something about the fuel loadings upsetting. Don't want to make too many predictions yet, I see. Actually, it looks like you're catching me up. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, you should be okay. much heavier. With full internal fuel, you should be much heavier. You should be dropping like a stone. So again, yeah, I, I think it's not I really am. working. It's mm. harder to keep my uh, AOA up. Mm. Yeah, I guess you are keep blowing. my speed up. Mm. You get some weird modelling DCS. Like, I've been modelling the IR signature late, lately. And with engines at zero, uh, gives about the same IR signature as engines at maximum without reheat. Which to me shouldn't be doesn't sound very right at all, um, and well, always have to be corrected. And then with reheat, it's different. So it almost seems like they fly the same with no fuel and half fuel, but with full fuel, it makes a difference. Feel fierce feels like the same problem, whatever it is. Although I just don't fully understand it. Where are, yeah, you've dropped. I you're had to dropped. Veer off a little you're bit. About to, you're about to. about to hit the ground. Yep. Weird, weird modelling. Okay, never mind. Let's carry on. Let me know when you hit the ground. Down you go, I'll see. Down you go. You're nearly going to make it as far as me, to be fair. Are you flaring now? <laughs> yep. Right, I'm going to have to stop. Oops, a bit more out oh. than I wanted. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I want to go back up. I'm doing it for external view and I shouldn't have done it really, but... Oh my. I'll make a massive amount of difference. I just saw you pop up in the distance. Oh nice. Super Cup to space! Right. There was very little in it. Again, I think if that was modeled properly, I think you should have dropped. How much fuel have you got? How many pounds? 
Oh, 7,100. 7,100. So that is, what, yeah. three, that's three metric tons, more or less. So you're three tons heavier. I, I, I reckon you should have ended about there. Never mind. What we'll do, just for the lolzies, is take the average anyway. And it is 6,076 times 4. 14.11 gives 85,732 divided by 10,000 feet vertical that we covered. So we had average between us of 8.57 to 1 and should be 7.8 to 1. So that wasn't, that was pretty good, right? It's possible the proper measurements are done maybe with full fuel, maybe even with a bit of ordnance or something like that. I, you know, I don't really know. Now, we're not trying to prove anything here. We're just trying to show what glide ratio is and have a bit of fun with it. Hope you found that interesting and see you later.